when Bunny is ready to come in, she doesn't stand by the door like Margot. She just sits very serenely in the corner. And then as soon as the door opens, she tramples over Margot to get in. <laughs> it's a good day, isn't it? Why? Biscuits. Yeah. I'm not eating them, though. I'm not undoing all this goodness. All that goodness? Toby went... Do you like, do you like my sandals? Toby went... From... <laughs> <laughs> They're gorgeous. <laughs> What about that then? You didn't go for a run in them, did you? Hey. Toby went for a run this morning, wearing appropriate footwear. Yeah. It's still purple. No, I'm not. Yeah. It's all foam. I think you need foam. Well, what colour have I then? <laughs> um, and then the milkman brought a bumper box. Was it? It was impressive now you split it up into. No, it doesn't. Was it a kilo? Uh, must be. It was a kilo box of luxury broken biscuits not just any old broken biscuits but luxury ones so we've divided them up for the tuck shop we've got 10 pence biscuits 20 pence biscuits 50p biscuits the kids have spent all their money on biscuits and i'm about to have a coffee i'm about to have tea. well i'll make you a cup of tea in a minute it's just i've done the coffee now and it doesn't stay warm does it so I am about to have a coffee and what we affectionately call dead fly biscuits. I did Joe Wicks this morning. So I'm just going to undo all of the good that I did with Joe Wicks. This is the 10p tin and these are dead fly biscuits. Some people call them squashed fly biscuits. Look, you've got bourbons, uh, jammy dodgers, custard creams, digestives. What else do we have in here? Chocolate digestives, Chips Ahoy or Mini Marylands. Um, did I say custard creams? Oh, Bian Bian. Lots of things. Oh, yummy. That one is a coconutty one. I'll eat that now. out my run of beans they're um they're getting so big now and uh, i think they just need a bit more space for their roots so those ones are the ones i got from popper's plants last year and these are the ones i nicked from my friend turnip and i'm gonna put them in my bean wig ma'am i've made oh this splinter here that's really sore. I haven't finished putting the, oh, that's a little remote lawnmower, he's noisy. I haven't finished putting the string across to give them a guide. Just wanna get them in the ground. Let's get them in the ground. I have visuals on my main crop spuds and my first earlies. So I think I've got to let these get a little bit bigger and then I can cover them up with a bit of mud. There we go. 
got a little um, framework of string there, nothing, nothing too complicated. If they need more a bit later, I'll just tie on a bit more. Please grow. I love one of beans. Please grow. Hello. I didn't know that I'm actually Indiana Jones. Look at that little dog. <laughs> she doesn't want to come outside. But she just wants to be with me. I was just um, coming to have a look at <laughs> my sweet bee supports. I like to see what I've done. I like to sort of review it and then feel pleased with myself. They look really underwhelming from here. <laughs> I'm really pleased with them. In other news, I think that the um, blue tit that was nesting in there has been scared off by pigeons. Such a pity. Right. Gosh, my boiler sounds noisy. Hope it's okay. What does it do? It's me, a Wally. It's me, Bunny. This is silly. Right, I'm going to say good night now. I'm going to go and make a cup of tea and uh, do a bit of knitting. Although my elbow is really sore from digging, and I don't think knitting's helping. I love these. Erigeron Kopinskianus or Erigeron, something like that. Okay, good night. It's all been very, very flower heavy today. <laughs> There's not much else to talk about.